Good morning everyone, Alessandro the Crypto here. Bitcoin is trapped below $65,000. What is going on with Bitcoin? Why are we not pumping to $70,000? Let's have a look what is going on guys and why I believe that we are in for a potential correction here. Even Maybe it is also possible that the top is already in, the local top. We're gonna see that, we're gonna have a look into that, what is going on right now. We are at a very, very critical point for Bitcoin guys. But before that, big announcements on uh, those uh, new meme coins that are upcoming. I just bought the meme games token. This is a completely new meme coin that is coming out. It is um, it is very new and fresh and it just launched a few days ago. As you can see, if you go to staking, the staking rewards are extremely high because they are just starting right now with their sale. And you can see that uh, they didn't even raise uh, $200,000 way below of that. And uh, if you're buying right now, you can also um, get this high staking reward. I did a nice tutorial video it is popping up at the end of this video go and watch it basically you can buy before it is coming out it will be launched on some uh, on some dexes and uh, uh, exchanges later on but um, for now you can only buy it on their website you can stake it there and also play this game because whenever you're buying you're buying kind of a ticket that you can um, um, game with that and you can bet basically on what uh, meme that could win when you're doing a purchase and uh, if you're lucky enough you can win 25% bonus of your purchased tokens. So check it out guys, I did an easy tutorial how to purchase this token, basically you have to uh, connect your wallet and buy and stake for 2400% rewards. So while you're waiting until this is coming out, you will get a very high percentages in API. I bought 10,000 of those tokens and um, the other ones are Pepe Unchained of course, also this one here, you see the API is dropping every hour or every few um, days significantly lower. A couple of hours ago it was over 500%, now it's below 450%. So this one, more and more people are buying into this new hyped uh, meme token. This is currently ranked number one. The second one is Meme Games, the one that I just showed you. And the other one is uh, Winner AI and Play Doge. Also, I bought all of them. And uh, here, Winner AI is the next one that is coming out. In less than 13 days, this one is launching. I will update you what to do once this is launching. You can still buy it if you want. All the relevant links are here in the video description where it says new upcoming meme coins, especially the new meme games meme coin. Don't miss out on that. Be early if you want to buy because then you get the high staking rewards. And now guys, let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin. We're gonna also have a look into Ethereum right now because some of you requested that. So we're gonna have a look also into Ethereum. So in the four hour time frame for Bitcoin, we had these uh, bearish divergences. We have lower highs in the RSI, but in the price action, we had higher highs. Right now we are seeing this correction, but at the moment we are still in a nice uptrend here. We are still above the median line of the Kelvin channels and the 20 moving average in the short term. So that means that in theory, as long as we have four hour closes above $63,900, the uptrend will continue. As soon as we have a four hour close below, we're gonna drop down towards the bottom line down here at around 62K. And if that is happening, I'm pretty confident that we also are coming down to close the CME gap at around $58,800. So short term, we had this nice bounce, this upcoming bounce that we were expecting since a long time, basically since the bottom here when we had the buy signals and also bullish divergences forming here. And uh, the bounce already happened. We topped out so far at the top side of the Calvin channels and in this bearish retracement level. Now the big question is, is Bitcoin able to push on towards uh, the 70k resistance that we have up here or are we get rejected here and create a lower high in comparison to the previous ones and crash all the way back down to 58k maybe even lower levels down here at around 60k we're going to have a lot of support we have currently the 20 daily moving average the median line of the Kelvin channels the nine day moving average the 200 day moving average everything here at around 60k and the reason why i believe that eventually we could come down is because in the daily time frame we're starting to be overbought and uh, yes money flow is slowly coming into positive that could be a bullish sign that eventually we are gonna see a nice move to the upside but only once we have daily closes above the top side of the calvin channels currently at sixty-six thousand three hundred dollars as long as we have daily closes below it is more likely that we're gonna have another correction down to retest this new support at around 60k maybe have quick wicks down to close the CME gap to 58k but maybe create here a nice uh, bottom if we do that and then gear up for the next big move to the upside. If we would crash below 60k and stay down here at 57 or 55 
it's again more likely that we're gonna see um, finally the bearish uh, targets uh, to be um, basically playing out which are below fifty thousand dollars still at around forty seven to forty eight thousand dollars but for now uh, we are in a decision point the daily time frame is starting slowly to look a bit overbought also if we have a look into the US dollar dominance here we are oversold that means a bounce is most likely incoming and in the US dollar index as well everywhere we're looking quite oversold that means that the bounce at some point will come and if that is coming then of course for bitcoin that means that we come back down most likely to retest the 60k area so in the immediate short term it is possible that uh, we're coming again back down to close the cme gap and retest the 58k area to 60k that is perfectly fine but remember guys in the monthly time frame we are still not out of the woods here we are below the top side of the Kelvin channels at $68,000. As long as we have monthly closes below, like a magnet, the median line of the Kelvin channels is taking the price down as long as we don't have monthly closes above. That means that even though we could have a lot of volatility in a few days or weeks in the monthly time frame, we are still not out of the woods. We still can drop down towards 47 to 48K, which is the target down here. Only once we have monthly closes above 68k, I'm starting to be extremely bullish and call for new all-time highs immediately. Because if we're really here right after the Bitcoin halving in this blue and purple zone, we can still chop around here for a very long time until we're starting to enter into the orange or red zone and at some point uh, top out and then come back down towards the red uh, towards the blue and purple zone. Because also here you see after all previous Bitcoin halvings like here, here or here. We stayed for a very long time in this blue and purple zone until then we started to skyrocket into the red zone also here last time here so that means that if in the next coming months so we're gonna chop around here in the blue and purple zone that means that we're gonna be trapped here at around 50k or 60k for a very long time and maybe towards 2025 or 2026 then start to gear up for a big move to the upside and then come back down that's why I'm looking very closely at the monthly time frame because here we I, I told you that we have everything shifted to the downside right now, everything crossed bearish, and until we don't have bullish crosses and monthly closes above the top set of the Kelvin channels, we must remain very cautious with those rallies. The last indicator here, the confirmation indicator, has not crossed bearish yet. This is the only hope that I have. That's why I still expect that at some point eventually we could even continue the bull market straight away but therefore we need at least monthly closes back above $68,000 as long as we have monthly closes below we will over time come down towards the median line of the Kelvin channels that doesn't mean that we have to crash down but over time if we are not seeing here a monthly close above 68k that is very likely to be incoming so in the daily time frame it looks like that the pullback is in the cards if we don't see daily closes above 66k and if we go now over to ethereum here the same story, the indicators are looking perfectly the same, overbought in the daily time frame, even in the 4 hour we had bearish divergences, everything crossed bearish, you can see here lower highs in the RSI but in the price action higher highs, right now we came down, but the good thing about Ethereum is that currently in the 4 hour time frame we are building up here a nice support trend line which is right here, currently at around $3360, as long as the 4 hour closes are remaining above this trend line. I think that the bull run or the, this big pump will continue for Ethereum, but if we would crash below, so if we if you see a four hour close below three thousand three hundred sixty dollars, it's very likely that we're coming down to test this previous support, uh, previous resistance, now new support area at around three thousand dollars, and vice versa. Once we're gonna leave here this resistance area here, which we are also fighting again then that would mean that the also Ethereum here most likely will retest the highs here at around 4k if we break out higher here because um, let me quickly erase that if we form here some kind of an inverse head and shoulders pattern that means that if this is the left shoulder the head and now the right shoulder then this of course could uh, mean that uh, Ethereum is about to break out uh, pretty hard here to the upside and that would mean that we uh, are going to go towards $4,400 which is basically um, yeah, the highest high I think that we ever had in this run-up. It is possible 
but uh, only if also Bitcoin is really um, starting to take off and is pushing above $70,000. Then yes, I think for Ethereum, we're gonna have that breakout. But at the moment, no, nothing is confirmed. We are just fighting here with this previous resistance. Let's see if Ethereum can break it. If yes, then we will definitely go above 4K. So you can also trade that if you want. Otherwise for Bitcoin, um, we will see what happens here because uh, everything is of course depending what Bitcoin is doing. If we're gonna have that correction again down towards 60K, and close the CME gap at 58k then also Ethereum will come down but if Bitcoin is able now to push higher and higher then of course the altcoins will also explode and that's why right now in my opinion it's a good time to also buy all those altcoins that you waited for we had everywhere um, basically big um, uh, big sell-offs in all altcoins and meme coins of course it, you maybe are not going to buy the absolute bottom of this correction but this is also not important important is only that you're DCAing into the right altcoins that you want or meme coins and bitcoin of course and then also keep it for the long term because if we are really here in this stage then it really doesn't matter what price that you're buying what altcoin important is only that you're buying the good ones that are also moving and that you're also gonna keep it for the whole bull run because uh, this can take many months and even years until this is going to play out and we're gonna reach the cycle top of this bull run which in my opinion is still far away but based on some time frames like the monthly it is very very likely that as long as we don't have here monthly closes back above $68,000 that we are going to chop around here for the next coming months uh, until we're gonna see the big continuation of the bull run because Bitcoin normally is only in a raging bull run when we have monthly closes above the top side of the Cadence channels like we had over here or over here this bull run this was the top in, in 2017 big crash rejection at the top side of the Cadence channels big crash once we had monthly closes above we had this huge run up into the cycle top of around uh, 64 to 69 thousand dollars here the same thing top out at the top side of the countless channels crash into the countless channels always got rejected from it until here here we started to have monthly closes above and we never closed again below the top side of the countless channels until the cycle top and um, yeah even here even here it was the case right at the beginning monthly closes above crash into the Kelton channels always got rejected from it once we had monthly closes above we had the run up into the cycle top rejection here you see again monthly closes within the Kelton channels crash very close to the median line of the Kelton channels and then once we had again monthly closes above it is possible that we're also going to do something like that now once we had monthly closes above continuation into the cycle top of the bull run so you see how important that is that Bitcoin is having again monthly closes above the top side of the Calvin channels currently 68k that's why I'm repeating that always because you always have to keep that in mind whatever kind of trades that you're doing in the lower time frames the weekly is currently still getting rejected by the 20 weekly moving average let's see what will happen once we are reaching the end of this week for now we are still below of it and this is of course a bearish sign all right that's it for now guys don't forget be subscribed on this channel leave a like that is very much uh, appreciated also check out all links here in the video description to all exchanges that i'm using like bybit femex uh, maxi global and so on check out the newest meme coins that are upcoming especially this new one meme games where you get a very high api if you're buying early enough you can uh, collect a lot of tokens before they are releasing then we have all of course pepe chain which is still ongoing this is the most hyped meme coin that uh, is running right now and Winner AI, which is the next one that is coming out in about 12 uh, to 13 days. Yeah, Hamster Combat, I'm also still playing. Let's see when this one uh, will come out with the airdrop. But that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Let's see what Bitcoin is doing. We're still trapped here. I think short term pullback, very likely. Let's see. Thank you for watching, and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye for now.